Hey there guys, Tim here from Canatech TV. Today we're taking a look at this Dr. J projector. This has been a mainstay on Amazon. One of the best sellers on there, that's why I wanted to check it out. Named after Dr. Julius Irving. Just kidding, I don't know if that's true or not. But like I said, this is one of the most popular budget projectors on Amazon in the 480p budget range. It's one of the Amazon suggested ones if you search on there. So we're taking a look at that today. So yeah guys, as you see here in my hand, this is a very portable size. You can easily take this with you, move it around from rooms in the house and things like that. It's a native 480p, so it's 800 by 480p resolution. So you can play 1080p and things like that on it, but it's just going to be kind of downscaled to the 480p is what you're going to actually get. So this actually has four and a half star rating on over 3,800 reviews on Amazon right now and you can get it for $70 at the time of this video. And they claim that the bulb on here is gonna last 40,000 hours, which is gonna last you a long time. If you do the math and actually plug that into like four or five hours a day, it's gonna last you quite a while. Usually that's about like a couple of years. So sound quality wise, it's not terrible. It does have a downward facing speaker on the bottom of this. Uh, you got the fans that are on the side here. So you're going to miss out a little bit on some of the audio quality. It doesn't sound the greatest. I would definitely hook it up to an external speaker, which you can do because on the side, you've got a microphone jack there. So you can use an aux cable to hook it up to an external speaker or set of speakers. And that's going to definitely, definitely increase that sound quality. In a week, but have my feet and eyes where I needed to go uh, and just get in the ball out of my hands. The playmakers made the plays. I think that's the best part about this team is we know how good we can be, but that's like I said. You've also got a TF slot, which is micro SD card slot. You've got a HDMI port right there, USB port, spot for VGA. And that is about it. Other than on the other side, you've got your power cable. On the top, you're going to have some of your buttons there. And then on the front part here, you've got your keystone and you've got your focus wheel, which you can use to dial in your picture. There is a little wheel and kind of knob on the bottom here that you can use to kind of tilt your projector up and angle it up at the wall if you need to, if you're projecting from a little bit of a lower height. And then that's where you're gonna really need that keystone to dial in and tilt that picture on the wall and make it flat on the wall there. This does have a quarter inch tripod thread right in the center there. So that's a pretty good addition because you can put it on a tripod like that. And with this being as small as it is, you can probably Get away with putting this on a smaller kind of like cell phone or small dslr type tripod this one doesn't appear to be mountable because i peeled off the little foam pieces on the bottom here and it's kind of messed those up typically if there is going to be any mountable screw points on here they are hidden below the foam pieces there so this one does not actually have any mounts on the bottom of it you've just got the quarter inch tripod thread there in the middle that you'll have to use for this one. The other option you can do is you can use like a tripod. I'll put a link in the description down there. That's what I use. There's a special tripod with a tray where you can just set this on top of it as well. So let me show you where we're gonna be testing this out. So this is my living room here and up on the wall there, you can see that is a projector screen that is 100 inches diagonal. So looking at the Roku menu here and hopping into Netflix, Let's take a look at what this looks like on here. So you can see kind of scrolling through, uh, everything's pretty decent as far as being able to read things and kind of tell what everything is. So in that regard, you know, you're gonna be able to read the menus, you're gonna be able to see the titles, you can kind of see what the picture quality is gonna look like a little bit there. So overall, not too bad. Now this here is the HBO Now app. So you can kind of see here, some of the text you can tell is, you know, becoming a little bit more grainy in that. Um, jumping over into Hulu here, I'll show you what that looks like. And looking at some of this stuff here on Hulu is where I could really see a difference. Um, in person, I would say that these colors and everything too are actually a little bit worse. I think the camera actually made these look a little better. Um, the colors were kind of muted. It's kind of dim, um, not real bright, and you can kind of pick that up from this, I think, watching this here. And again, like you can see, the text is decent, but nothing compared to the 720p. You can still tell it's a bit grainy as you're watching here. And then here's just a little bit of stock video footage. It just comes from Nick and Dean Nimmin's free stock vids channel on YouTube. And then just looking at some of the stock footage, I've used this footage for a lot of the test video and if you look at a lot of my videos you're gonna see 
these same clips on other projectors and you can kind of compare a little bit but you know knowing these clips very well basically in person you know these should look like they're bright they should look pretty good saturation wise and color wise and everything and with this projector it's just definitely kind of dim and the overall brightness of the projector this model you know can't compare to some of the other 720p and other models that I've tested or even some other 480p options that just have a little bit better brightness so this is really where you're going to be able to see the difference in quality between like a 480p and a 720p model so zooming in here you can see a little bit especially like look at the a and family it's kind of a little bit of a blur there some of that smaller text isn't the sharpest and as you get down to the actual thumbnails here this is really where too you're going to see where you can start to not really be able to make out some of the stuff i do have an updated model on there on amazon right now and it is twenty dollars more but they also have a $20 coupon on it right now that'll bring it right down to $69.99 as well. With this original listing on here, you actually get a free 100 inch projection screen, which is pretty cool. I can't really speak to the quality of that, but a lot of those projector screens are pretty, pretty similar, especially in the entry level range in that. There's a lot of other fancier ones that have like more of a gray tint and things like that that are supposed to be more reflective and have better contrast and that kind of stuff. But if you're upgrading from throwing this up on your wall, having a screen like that is gonna be enough of an upgrade where that's probably gonna be better than what you're currently using. So they say guys on that updated listing that they got 20% better brightness in that other model and they say 2001 contrast ratio, which is supposed to be improved over this. Otherwise, probably not a whole lot of difference because it's still the same 480p resolution, maybe improved brightness a little bit. So overall, would I recommend this? Probably not in 2019 here. Um, maybe when it first came out, it was a little bit better, but this does have pretty dim picture compared to a lot of the other models that I've tested out recently. One of the most recent models that I just checked out is the Artly Enjoy projector. That's a 480p projector. It actually has electronic keystone correction built in, which is awesome because you can actually set it up um, electronically and it gives you more control over your picture rather than having just a little wheel on here. So I would definitely look into that if you're looking at like 480p range, but I do have a whole budget projector playlist that you'll see popping up. It's gonna be right up here and then right down here is gonna be a subscribe button. But up there, that projector playlist, I've reviewed from 240p all the way up to native 1080p projectors. So you can check those out there and kind of look at some reviews if you're thinking about some stuff. Definitely drop a comment down there below if you want any suggestions or have any comments about this. But I'd say for now, I would not probably recommend this. It's not the worst, not the best, but some of the brightness and some of the actual color and saturation on this, I think is a lot better in some of the newer models and some of the other models that I've tested out. If you could jump into the 720p range, you're gonna have a lot better performance as far as like your picture quality and the sharpness as well. So if you have a little bit of financial flexibility, you can probably spend another 20 bucks more and get a 720p version, which I'd highly recommend. Thank you guys for watching with me here today. Check out that budget projector playlist, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.